Welcome to the Color Deficiency Vision Screening Tutorial. In this short video, we will review the purpose for this type of screening, the tools used, and how it is implemented with children of various age groups. Color vision has an important role in learning and its environment, choice of career, and quality of life. This screening detects whether a child is red-green color deficient. This screening only needs to be conducted once in a child's life. Vision screening tools for color deficiency include color perception tests, which can come from a variety of manufacturers, a pointing device, which can be cotton swabs or similar, and a brush for cleaning the tools as needed. Color perception tests are commonly presented as colorful cards that contain a circle of dots that form a pattern or number. Each test contains a demonstration card that even children with a color deficiency would be able to see and use to confirm whether a child understands how to complete the screening. While it is possible for a child to trace the symbols or numbers they see on each card with their finger, it is best to use a pointing device. This will prolong the shelf life of your color perception cards and decreases the need to sanitize cards between uses. A pointing device can be a disposable item such as a cotton swab. Set two chairs across from each other. This can be done with or without a table. Have the child sit on one chair and the screener sits opposite them. The child must be close enough to reach the cards with their pointing device or finger. If a child wears glasses, perform the screening with their glasses on. Have the child begin by tracing or naming the symbol or number they see on the demonstration card. All children should be able to correctly identify the symbol or number. Next, show them a series of test cards and have them trace or name the cards in turn. A child must identify all plates 1 to 8 to be considered passing. Retest a child who fails. A failed color deficiency vision screening should be communicated to school administration and caregivers, but it does not result in a referral to an eye care professional, unless the child does not meet passing criteria for other screenings, such as visual acuity or stereopsis. Screening for color deficiency is a simple process that can have a large impact on a child's academic and developmental success.